To multiply decimals by decimals, we can use two different methods, a visual model and the standard algorithm. Our visual model is a 10 by 10 hundredths grid, and every row and every column is worth one tenth of the whole. Each individual square is worth one one hundredth of the whole. To show four tenths, we're going to shade in four of the 10 rows. One way to think of this problem is that we are taking six tenths of four tenths because of means multiply. In order to do that, we have to show the four tenths first. To represent six tenths, we're going to shade six columns vertically. And we'll be shading them all the way up and down. Once all of the columns are shaded, we're going to look at the area where both colors overlap. That is where we're going to find our product. Since there are 24 squares in the overlapped area, the product of 4 tenths and 6 tenths is 24 hundredths. For the standard algorithm, we're going to set up our problem just like we would with whole numbers. We'll multiply 6 times 4 and write our answer of 24 in the bottom. And then we're going to look at each factor in the problem and count how many digits are to the right of a decimal point in both factors. Since 4 tenths has one digit to the right of a decimal point and 6 tenths has one digit, our product is going to have two digits to the right of a decimal point. And our final product is 0 and 24 hundredths.